Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NBLL 2024 here from sunny Prague. We are on our first super weekend of the season, meaning we will bring you seven games between Friday and Sunday here. First game last night, which saw Berlin taking on Zbraslav in a very exciting first half. They were holding on and even led in the first half Berlin did and then just lost out a little bit in the second half. Nevertheless, today we will be seeing Maleshitsa home team taking on LCC Radotin for the first game. And we have many more games to come as well. So stay tuned and do share this link with your friends and family so that they can keep watching us. So who else do we have this weekend? We are looking at exciting matchups. Panthers Wroclaw, the new team in the league from Poland, the first time a Polish team is participating in the MBLL, will take on the returning team from Bratislava, Bats, the Slovak team from South at 12.30 Central European time, followed by LCC Wolves taking on Berlin Bears recovering from last night's game. And the fourth game today also streamed live will be Lacros Zbraslav against Vienna Monster. So we have a bunch of teams here this weekend here in Maleshice. We are greeting you from the roofs of Prague. We're literally on the roof, best seats in the house. And we are starting off this first matchup in 40 seconds. Maleshice looks ready. We have a mix of old, young, everything that you can possibly imagine on this team. And of course, the powerhouse from Radotin on the other side in red ready to go referees today martin bartuszka vasek frank and tomas rod this is a very exciting year for box lacrosse anybody who doesn't know yet will know soon that we have a world championship going on in september in utica and many of these players are trying out for their national team and so are the officials on the floor today the mbll is the premier league here in europe and i would dare to say the best league outside of north america when it comes to box lacrosse so welcome share your comments with us your questions and we will try to get to that as best as we can we are kicking off this game maleshice home team taking on lcc radotin in red and here we go ladies and gentlemen very excited for today First face-off, can Matos Tilscher take it? His friend Tomasz Knotek with the ball. So LCC with the opening face. Taking it easy at first, Knotek. And we have set up here. <laughs> well, taking it easy, but not lightly for sure. These two teams are known for their physicality on both sides. And Maleshice can strip the ball just as the shot clock runs out. For people who are maybe new to box lacrosse, box lacrosse is the fast version of lacrosse. It, it has and always had a 30 second shot clock on this floor that is roughly the size of a smaller hockey ring and we are playing five on five plus goalies. Maleshica with the ball now. The Podrożek brothers reunited as Andre played for Yizhny Mesto the second half of last season, taking it all the way to final four. Now returning to his home team in yellow with the signature yellow helmets as well. Let's see who can open the score here. Last night it took a while in the Berlin's Braslav matchup for us to see a first goal and a very surprisingly low scoring first half as the teams were getting warmed up. Looks similar to this matchup here. Hodan on the ball. Prohaska, Shimon, Uchera. There's also two of them. Also LCC Rado team pulled up a couple of their youngsters Onto the team. Oh, ho, ho. what a save there. Lucky for the goalie, saved by his teammate. 
the ball did touch the line but didn't cross it and as we all know the ball has to cross fully for it to be a goal so good job Malishica. A try on the other end easy job there for Slavik in the LCC goal and now a counter offensive by LCC Knotek trying to go at it alone and oof. oh well that is painful literally as Nicolas Adam had saved that first shot with his calf but couldn't save the second one and we have an opening goal here by Tomasz Knotek for LCC Radotin. We'll see what happens. Oh, sorry, in the goal for LCC is Daniel Halet. Um, not the Slavic, my bad. And in the Malishitsa goal, a young goalie, 17 years old, if I'm not mistaken. But this was way too easy for Lukasz Kuchera and score 2 nil. Maybe Malishica just needs to reset themselves to counter the attack of LCC Radotin. And we'll see if this next phase <laughs> will help with that at all. Again, Kuchera, this time Shimon on the ball, looking for Pech, but Pech is in the crease. So Malashitsa goalie can get a breather for a second there. Malashitsa in the counter attack. Setting it up. Oh, that was close. That could have been in by Podrožek. Just not quite. Okay, Andre Hayek in the Malashitsa goal getting ready for this next attack by LCC Radotin. They make it look so easy. Knotek Tomas again tries something similar. That went off the foot, so it will go back to LCC. Barak, Prochaska, Pech. It almost seems like it's a little early in the day for the Malashitsa boys as they're not quite woken up yet. <laughs> Not sure if the two goals they got scored on will help with that, but we will see. It's a big family affair here in Malashitsa. We have the Podrožek brothers and also the whole Adamiec family with their dad and his two sons playing. So family business on the Malashitsa team. Also with the pub now being owned by Nicolas Adamiec. So if you are in Prague or nearby, come join us. It's gonna be a fun day here in the sun. Another try by Malashice. Not quite on target, but Podrožek is trying to get the ball past the LCC goalie. Let's see if they can get successful on this next, next attack. I mean, the LCC defense is very tight. It is hard to get past them. They fight hard. Shruta on that ground ball there. And Pech, one of the youngsters, can take up the ball to Tilsher. Also an excellent official, I have to say. He was the youngest official ever to officiate at a world championship. He was just 18 years old in three weeks. So we're very proud of that. Oh, nice. Here is when the experience comes. No, well, not quite, but Adam Yitz did intercept that ball. Excellent save here by Jan Hayek. Malashitsa not getting riddled here by the strong LCC offense. Unfortunately, that took a little too long for the 10 second count, which is how much time you have to get the ball over to the other half. So we're back here with Prochas, Katu Knotek, Barak. No, that was for Manek, I'm sorry. And another goal by LCC, so 3-0 at the moment. That should be just enough for Malashitsa to get their act together and wake up and put some more pressure here on the LCC team.
Malashitsa will also be a host of the eBox in a couple of weeks' time. eBox, which is not a tournament, it is a very special type of game weekend where national teams come over to prep for the upcoming World Championship. They all play each other. There's no champion, no trophy, just full on great lacrosse games. And they will be hosted in Radochin ahead of the legendary AHM Memorial. But because of the number of teams and games we will see this time at eBox, they will also be hosted in Malashitsa. And this is a great ground ball battle here right below me. So I have the best view, literally. Kuchera didn't quite manage, but a little too late for Knotek as the shot clock ran out. This is the type of battles where you really see that these guys have played from uh, the youngest age inside the box and can really use the box to their advantage and the boards and the rebounds. Uh, when you compare this to teams who start traditionally from field lacrosse, you see that the skill just isn't there yet and these boys from Czech Republic have an advantage there. Tilsher. Bring the ball over. We are roughly halfway through the first quarter. Notek. No, not quite. Nicolas Adamets can be dangerous. He may be on the older side, but definitely still very valuable on the floor here. Yeah, that's going to go back to Malashitze, as that was definitely a lot of back there from Friedel on the young Malashitze. Well. Excuse me. Starting to look like something on the Malashitze side. Let's see if they can actually capitalize on it. Would love to see a goal in the other way. And there it is. As always, one can count on Podrožek. Beautiful goal. Gives some confidence back to the Malashitsa team. You could already tell that they're setting up much better than earlier. And this has definitely helped. So score now. One Malashitsa, three LCC. And we got a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Roughly seven and a half minutes left in this first quarter. Vimola, soon to be dad of a second baby. So hopefully he won't have to run off straight through the game. Oh, wow. Kuchera right on spot. This is his second goal, if I'm not mistaken. No, sorry. The first one was by his brother, Lukas. So the Kuchera brothers on the LCC side also with one goal each now. That was a beauty. Malash, it's almost a little too late to that face. But just that ball was definitely stuck in Tilshire's stick giving it to Malashitze. Beautiful try here by the Malashitze team. We will have a, see an advantage. So Malashitze now with six guys. That's the beauty of the box lacrosse discipline. Once you have an advantage, so a hand up by the official for an upcoming penalty, you can pull your goalie and put another attacker up front, giving you an, and uh, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely agree that <laughs> that wasn't quite on target by Shruta. So we will see a two man advantage for Malashitsa here. Uh, one Knotek is going for a penalty. And I will tell you what in a second for a cross check. And I would guess Shruta will go in for a slash for two minutes. So two man advantage for two minutes um, for Malashitsa team. So slash and a cross check on LCC in the same play. And here we go. Oh, 
Let us know where you're watching from. Always fun to see. Malashitsi couldn't quite capitalize on that first possession of this advantage. Oh, hold on. We see two and four. So if I'm not mistaken, that would be a two-man advantage for two minutes and then another two minutes. So probably Shuruta got two slashes out of that play. That is possible as there was a lot of contact. I will double check Point Bench for you. Our partner, pointbench.com. You can watch and see all the stats from all the games. This season we'll see a total of 76 games in three months. So it's quite a full spring season, all cramped into the three months with a short break between in April when the Memorial and E-Box are happening to give the players a <laughs> little bit more time to focus on those games. And then we will finish up in June, give the national team players a summer break where they can focus on their prep for Utica. And then you will see an all-star game in September or October after we return from Utica. So the board might be incorrect. We will see who runs out shortly as on point bench I only two minutes for each of those players that went in. So we have about 20 seconds left on that man up. Malashica couldn't quite do anything about that with a two-man advantage. That is unfortunate. Teams very often struggle when they have a two-man advantage. And some teams are even really good at scoring when they're man down themselves. Uh, he's Braslav in particular last season. So we'll see if LCC can do that. But now we are even so yeah the board was not quite correct but that's okay so we're at full strength here and Knotek immediately out of the box with another goal and we have 4-1 four, four minutes left in this first quarter Tilsher back at the face off Malashica with the ball, quick one. This could have been something. Malashica is strong when they really tic-tac-toe those passes and get it in quickly, not giving the LCC goalie much time to prep. Didn't work this time, but I'm pretty sure it will work the next time. Knotek basically just tries the same thing over and over. I mean, if it works well for you, why not? And he is good at it was some contact there, but the ball was gone. So no advantage, disadvantage. Kressel, Kressel's just an incredible athlete. So strong, so fast on this LCC team. Probably one of the fastest in the Czech Republic, if not in Europe, together with Cobra, who's sadly injured and will have to skip a couple of weeks of the league. Malashica now fighting for it. Can't quite hold on to the ball long enough to go score on the other end. Shimon Kuchera looking for Friedel. Did not quite work out. Yet LCC is holding on to the ball. Pech and Pech with one from up top. Easy for Hayek in the Malashica goal. Just a reminder that the Malashica goalie he is not, oh, not even 18 years old. Young guy. So he has a, his whole box lacrosse career ahead of him still. One of the Adamez brothers looking for, for help here. Yeah, Malashica trying to get free. Not quite on target here. And Martin Hodan doesn't leave anything to anything at risk there. Fights for the ball for the last second of that 30 second shot clock. Forman. Knotek again. Formanek looking for Pech there in the middle. Not quite successful. Again from up top by Prochaska. 
I would say those are way too easy for Hayek. You might be better off trying something from down low. Adam Yetz bringing up the ball to Podrozek. A lot of ground balls here this morning. But we can hear the birds chirping. And it's just a beautiful day for some box lacrosse here at the MBLL 2024. <laughs> Time ran out and LCC back at it. Maybe they can build up their lead. Malishica so far with just that one goal by Podrozek, but that was a beauty. I hope to see some more of that. Malishica second goal, Jirka Zadražil from the Yizhny Mesto team. So we've seen some changes on the roster coming into the season. I would say Malashitsa goalie is warmed up by now and doesn't let the Knotek from the right side go in as easily as in earlier in this quarter. Malashitsa tries it from up high. You might again also here need to go down low to get it past the LCC goalie Vodolan and there was definitely crease by Prochaska. So another chance, we have 25 seconds left here on the clock for that first quarter. Can Malashitz to put one more on the board? Would be great to see them go into the break with an ego booster here. They're not moving quite as much, but they get an advantage. So eight seconds left. And we will see Matos Tilscher go in and for a cross check. So Malashitsa made a man advantage. They didn't capitalize on the two man advantage earlier in this quarter. They have eight seconds in this quarter to do so and then they will have almost two minutes left at the beginning of the second quarter. So this one didn't work and we will go into the break with a score of Malashitsa 1, LCC Radotin 5. This was the first quarter of this super weekend matchup here on Saturday in Malashitsa. Do stay, go get something to drink, maybe a snack on this early Saturday morning or whatever time it is wherever you are. And we will be back in less than two minutes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to start the second quarter of this morning matchup between the host and home team Malashitze and LCC Radotin. The first quarter started off a little slow, saw a gorgeous goal by Podrozek on the Malashitze, and sadly so far the only one for the guys in yellow and LCC Radotin with five on the board. One each for the Kuchera brothers and two for Prochaska in this matchup already, as well as a second one for uh, Friedel. So, gorgeous play so far here in this Saturday sunny morning in Malashitze. We have the best seats in the house here on the roof. We would like to thank our partners, Hari Mir, with a very nice craft beer from Rado Team. Come join us during eBox. And AHM, they also have very nice food. Uh, Cook is one of our own lacrosse players, so I do recommend you come join and check it out yourself when you are in Prague. 
as well as a big thanks to Svet IT, uh, Selzing, and our other partners. And here we go with the second quarter. Still seeing a man advantage for Malešice. The first advantage they had earlier in this quarter with two men up, they weren't able to capitalize on. But now they have another chance, even though now Shruta, LCC, with the ball. They will try to get that penalty killed and utilizing the whole possession. <laughs> Kressel trying his in himself, also going for the rebound. Not quite successful. And Hayek has the ball, giving Malashitsa another minute and a half, roughly, to get another point on the board here for the guys in yellow. Podrožek. Podrožek did play the end of last season for Yizhny Mesto and brought them or helped them to get into the final four and even into the final. That was a good try, did not quite work, but now creased by Podrožek. Ball going back to LCC. Knotek. Pech. Looking for somebody who's open, doesn't quite look that way. Prochaska way up top. Friedel. Not that. No, Prochaska, sorry. It's so sunny here, sometimes we even have sun in our eyes. Now Malashitsa has 10 seconds left on that man advantage. Will that be enough for make some to make something happen over here? Adamia's brothers. So they're even right now. Looking for somebody who's open. Podrožek. Ah, not quite. There was way too many people in between him and the goal. Two seconds left. Ah, almost. Maybe a little bit more pressure on the offense earlier in the shot clock so that they can make it happen before he runs out. Now a big <laughs> grumble, scrumble there at the boards. And another shot on target, yet easy save for Hayek. 10 seconds running out very quickly. He needs to get rid of the ball, which he did, but into the stick of Vodolan to Friedel. So that one helped Malashitsa here. Trying to figure out how to beat this defense of Radotin. And Radotin just doing their thing as they always do. High, a gorgeous save right there. A wide split. It always fascinates me how fast these guys are in all that gear they have on. Yeah. That ball got stripped quickly by LCC. But I believe they didn't notice themselves. And were too many. So an, an advantage for Malashitsa. Too many men LCC. Two minutes. That definitely happens more often than not. That if you do strip the ball back in your attack. Once you thought you lost it already. Your bench doesn't notice and subs way too fast. And I'm just reminding everybody in international rule. Too many men is always a penalty independent of if you were in possession of the ball or not. And here we go, Tilsher by himself. Can't quite hold on to the ball there. Malashitze. Adamiec. Podrožek. Adamiec again, the other one. I can just be saying Podrožek and Adamiec and I will probably be right at least 50% of the time here on that Malashica team. Podrožek, nice try, not quite in, but yeah, just keep trying and one of them will go in. So we haven't seen a goal here yet in this second quarter. Score is still 
5-1. Malashitsa had a couple of man advantages. They weren't able to capitalize on them yet. For Manek to Prochaska. Prochaska looking for Pech. And Nicolas on the ball here. Almost, that was close. Podrožek waited for the goalie to move out of his way, but wasn't quite on target. And that one, oh, that almost looked like it was in. But yeah, back into the goalie. So Malashitsa will get another try. Podrožek trying really everything he possibly can. Those last two were very close. I would have said that this last one, obviously from where I'm standing, um, but that's why we have the two officials on the floor. But it was uh, very close to being in. Okay, trying to <laughs> unsettle. And it worked! Just as the LCC penalty gets released, Malashitsa took their sweet time, were patient, played the ball around, distracted the LCC defense. And maybe that is the trick they waited for the penalty to be almost over LCC defense to relax and wait for the guy to come back on and utilize that second of distraction to get the ball behind the LCC goalie Halet is back. Awesome. So, wow. We didn't have to wait long for another goal. So first five minutes of the second quarter, we saw nothing. And now we saw two goals, one on each end within probably five seconds. And we are back to the same difference, but now with a score of one goal higher each. Malashitsa two and LCC six. That was a second goal for Knotek. Notek trying to slow it down a little bit. He was pointing. Malashitsa doesn't think so. They don't have any time to waste. Oh, unlucky. That went back. Shruta noticed and picked up the ball quickly. Oh, my. So we have Knotek with two goals. Friedel won. The Kuchera brothers won each and LCC trying to build up their lead, four goal lead at the moment, which is not, you know, huge, but with LCC difficult. And here is the seventh goal, building up their lead to five goals. Malashitsa will have to come up with something to stop the bleeding here. Lukas Kuchera with his second goal today. And here we go. Can Malashitsa make up in this deficit? Mm -hmm. They're on. And Podrožek, oh, behind the back. That would have been great. I feel like I keep saying that today when it comes to Podrožek. Sooner or later, it will work. I'm confident. Kreslo on the ball to Prochaska. Definitely not making it super easy here for LCC Radotin. They might have thought that's going to be an easier flyby, but we'll see what happens in the second half. Teams do have a tendency to hold on to tighter to LCC in the first half and then LCC just outruns them. Not sure this is what's going to happen today, but we'll see. And hopefully you will be here to see it with me. They're definitely looking more active in this quarter than they did in the first quarter. Vimola taking up the ball. Can't quite connect with Knotek. Giving the ball back to Hayek. Mm, maybe need to get organized a little bit more. Trying to put pressure on the goal, but sacrificing ball possession for that. Excuse me, spring is in the air here in Prague with everything blooming. 
which is great, but it does result in the occasional cough. So I apologize for the moment of silence, if you wish. Mala Shitze giving the LCC goalie something to do here in the second quarter for sure. I would say we've seen way more shots in this last four minutes alone. Oh, that is <laughs> saved by a, an LCC player in the crease that would have been unlucky otherwise because Hayek did save the first shot, but then the ball trickled behind him, not resulting in a goal as LCC was in the crease. Ah, yeah, Malish is trying something new. That was a beauty by the Adamias <laughs> brothers. <coughs> Kressel, look at those feet. Unreal. I hate running next to that guy because then I just look stupid. Because he is so fast. Yeah, that was over and back. Sadly, I do agree, even though it was a nice try. For those of you who don't know, as soon as you bring ball over half you can't go back even if it's very close on the line once you've been over you can't go back so LCC with another try to build up their lead their five goal lead at the moment they had a couple of crease calls already a lot of contact there and Hayek can't quite counter that attack by interesting I yeah freedom <laughs> so normally you would see a bunch of smaller kids playing and passing balls on that grass field behind us they are uh, many of them are at a sixes tournament in Berlin so a shout out to our Berlin friends and the seniors and the slightly older guys from the youngsters on the Malashitsa team are here. LCC also sent, I believe, two or three teams to Berlin this weekend. <laughs> so plenty of lacrosse going on everywhere around Europe and elsewhere probably. So we're glad you're with us watching this MBLL 2024 Super Weekend. A great matchup here, Vodolan trying to strip the ball from Podrožek, the other Podrožek. <coughs> Wasn't quite successful, so Malešice with another try here from out far. Adamiec. They have six seconds left on the shot clock. Not quite what he was hoping for. Vodolan now on the ball. Kuchera. Maybe they have a little brotherly contest going on on who of them can score more goals today. <laughs> it does look a little slower on the LCC side here in the late second quarter, close to halftime. Uh, not less successful, just slower. But Malashitz are putting on the pressure. And let's see if they can make it happen <laughs> and get another goal in to catch up on the LCC lead. Podrožek again. Yeah, this is, looks good. A lot of pressure here from the LCC defense. Not quite on target. Podrožek, beautiful pickup. That guy is just unreal with his stick. Still nothing. Two. Oh. <laughs> Shot clock ran out. And Hodain, one of the LCC legends here, played for Wolves last season. Now back on the LCC. I would. It used to be the senior squad, but now uh, they do mix up the teams more to have two relatively even teams, which I believe is what they did this season. We will see. So it used to be that the Wolves were the youngsters and the LCC Radokin were the senior guys. That is not the case as both Kucheras and Pech are on the very much younger side, under 20. 
And Knotek with another goal here, building up the lead to seven goals. Nine for LCC and two for Malashitsa. I mean, the two Malashitsa goals were worth it, but sadly only two so far. Maybe we will see more before this half ends. We have three minutes left. Tell us who you're rooting for in this season. If you have a favorite team, if there's anything you'd like to know, we will be happy to provide more details to you. Kressel. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time, looking for an opening. Not quite that one. There was way too many people that are plus not on target. But luckily, not every shot is on target. There's some push and shove between Kressel and Nicolas Adamek. I would not want to see that fist fight, I have to admit. Because they're both big and strong guys. It's a trying out something new. Moving way more than they did earlier this game. Let's see if that will work for them. Not quite. I mean, the <laughs> setup looked good. <laughs> just didn't quite execute it well enough yet. But we're getting there. LCC. Kuchera. For Manek. And another save by Hayek. <laughs> Ten seconds is shorter than one would think. And sadly, there was absolutely no one there on that side but Vimola from the other team. Finding Kuchera. For Manek. Not quite what he was looking for is my guess. But utilizing the boards, we talked about it. These guys can really use the boards to their advantage and have planned rebounds even. <laughs> they're more than capable of getting those rebounds. Not as easy as it looks, or as they make it look to be fair. For Manek again. Speeding it up. Ooh. That. Yeah. That looked great from up here, if you ask me. Good contact there by Laja. Laja is a big boy. Uh, good to have him on defense. Good save by Hayek. <laughs> And a timeout call by Malashitsa, saved by the whistle, literally, as Malashitsa would have 100% lost that ball there. Otherwise, we have 25 seconds left in this first half. And we have a lead by LCC with nine goals and Malashitsa with two. Malashitsa is trying out new stuff. I am curious to see if it will work out for them. We saw some great contact here on that last play with Laja and Malashitsa making sure that Hayek gets some help. So Malashitsa setting up here. Clearing the ball. Podrožek looking for, oh, man, he is too. All right, a <laughs> lot of contact there. But Malashitsa still with the ball. Four seconds, three seconds. Podrožek, can he do it? Ah, almost. And ladies and gentlemen, we're at halftime. There was definitely some exciting contact here towards the end of this first half. We have a score of home team Malashitsa with two goals and LCC with 
nine a seven goal lead at the moment but the game is much more even out than the score would suggest as we see a lot of action also on the Malashitsa side do stay with us we will take a short break and be back in a couple of minutes
mich doch wie die Kinder da auch schon. Ja, die arbeiten schon. Ja, ja. Der eine hat eben so richtig Man muss auf nicht den Tisch geklappt, geklappt, weil seine Jungs noch stößt.
Pressure seen in the first half, especially in the second quarter by Malashice. Not quite as successful, though, on their execution, but definitely with the pressure on. Oh, Hayek got that ball right in between his gear. Podrożek bringing the ball up. Can they keep up the pressure that they had at the end of that first half? Would love to see that. They tried out a couple of new things. Couldn't quite capitalize on them yet. But, you know, it will work sooner or later is my guess. Lots of one-on-one -on -one contact here in this game so far. Kuchara with the ball looking for his brother who's not on the floor yet. Friedel to Prochaska to Kuchara looking for Pech. Not quite. And we have some sun mixed with a little bit of rain. Typical March weather. Malashitsa back at it. Adamiet. Looking for the other Adamiet. Not quite. But I would say that the LCC goalie is not as relaxed as he was earlier in this game. They definitely are giving him some work to do. We've seen plenty of shots, not as many goals. So far, the goalie's quite successful. 92% on Daniel Heilet. 76% Andre Hayek. Hayek has seen a total of 28 shots already. It's quite something. Do stay with us all weekend. Today we are streaming all four games. After this, you will see the newbie in the MBLL League and the newbie on the European box lacrosse map, Panthers Wroclaw from Poland and the returning Slovak box lacrosse guys from Bratislava, Bats. Afterwards, LCC Wolves, the other LCC team taking on Berlin Bears. And in the evening, 5.30 Central European time, Zbraslav taking on Vienna Monarchs. So plenty of games. And tomorrow we will also see a matchup between Berlin and Vienna and LC Custodes and Panthers Wroclaw. Plenty of games today. The four games are streamed. So do join us. If you prefer to check commentary, do switch over to the other channel as we have both languages going on today. Or stay with me here. All right, so back to the game here. Malashitze trying some one-on-one -on -one stuff. They weren't quite ready for that possession, even though they had plenty of time on the shot clock. Didn't use it as well. Kuchera now, Shimon. Knotek to Formanek. Kreese. And Malashitze gets another chance here. Couldn't quite get it over. It's like they lost a little bit of concentration here over that halftime break. That does happen occasionally. Yeah, that did not look good. Cross check by Shruta. And we have a suffering Malashitsa player on the ground here. That did look like it hurt. But he's up. He's a tough one. All right, he is up and walking, which is good. And we'll see a another man up for Malish. It says so far they haven't been successful in utilizing those. But hopefully they can make this one and make Shruta pay for that cross check.
Malešic is still on the ball or on the ball again. The Adamiat family trying to make it happen. Not quite. Hold on. But Adamiat gets it back. Match up with Kuchara. That's always one I like to see. Doesn't seem to be going Malashitsa away today. They can't quite get it to finish. And LCC utilizes every single small mistake Malashitsa makes to strip them off the ball. Pech to Knotek, to Prochaska, Kuchera. Ooh, yeah, that, that was quite high there. So we'll see. Now a man up for LCC. Not exactly what Malachica needs here. Milan Smetana wasn't quite sure where Kuchera was going and that cross check definitely went too high. So a cross check there for Smetana, giving us an even matchup here. And then there will be a 30 second advantage. No, in 30 seconds, we will see an advantage for LCC. And I already see the Polish team have arrived. The Wroclaw Panthers. I am excited to see them play. The newbies here in this league. The Polish guys did play for Pardubice last season, or at least some of them did. And now they put on their own team. Okay, Shurta is out, giving LCC a man-up advantage. And Prochaska immediately capitalizes on that. Malashica wasn't quite yet set up for that man down, making it a tenth goal for LCC. Malashica still with two. Not for the lack of trying, that's for sure. The goalie has just been way too stellar for the Malashitsa offense and they haven't found a way how to beat the LCC defense yet. Even though I have to say, and if you weren't with us early this game, go back and rewatch that Podrozek ball goal early in the first quarter because it was a beauty. All right, Malashitsa with the ball, trying to kill. Yeah, trying to set up. We are back even, of course, as that Prochaska goal evened it up. Matchup with Vimola. Vimola and Adamiec. Ooh, nice strip by Vimola. Getting the ball back to LCC. Holup. Taking his time. I mean, there's no pressure for LCC to move faster. Malashitsa might want to speed up their possessions once they get it back. <laughs> and Knotek with what he does, just down low by the crease. And this is where, you know, spot on passes really do pay off. As he doesn't have to do much, he's just in the right spot, gets the ball and immediately gets it behind Hayek's back. So another goal for Knotek. That was the opening goal of this game was the exact same thing. And he's done it again. That is just what he does. Malashitsa ball. So far we've seen only one power play goal and that was the Prochaska one just a couple of minutes earlier. Malashitsa back at it. Podrozek trying to find an opening. They need to move their feet more just as they did earlier. That resulted in that gorgeous second goal by Adamiec. No, not quite. They're still fighting for it, but now the shot clock's out too. And ball goes back to LCC. I do think that if they can get their feet moving a little bit more on the plays that they just tried, it could work. Reload. Yeah, that's a hold. Yeah. <laughs> I know Laja doesn't like it, but he was definitely caught there. 
on the neck uh, around Friedel. So, I mean, it was an outrageous foul for sure, but definitely was a disadvantage by holding and thus a penalty here. So another power play for LCC. Let's see if Malashica can stay a little bit more organized this time than just earlier and not give Knotakov Prochaska the opening. Actually, every single one of these guys on the floor right now can shoot a goal in no time. So that makes it difficult. There's not that one person. And here we go, Friedel with his second goal today. Correct, with his second goal today, making it 12 to two. Well, it's a getting their head down a little bit. They do have a way of picking themselves back up. So let's see if we can see that. I mean, they are in their home arena. Their fans are here. Uh, yeah, and the first beers are already out. I mean, we are in Czech Republic, so it doesn't matter that it's before noon. And yes, thanks to our sponsor, Horimir, our partner, a craft brewery from Radotin serving wonderful craft beer and excellent food so do come check it out when you're over there now back to this game Pech looking for somebody anybody really Prochaska Kuchera Pech if you watch this team play the beauty is that they're really almost never looking where they're passing um, so it's really hard. And now Prochaska doing the Knotte goal just from the other side. Uh, Haya getting a little bit frustrated. Uh, a reminder, Haya, a young guy, excellent goalie with his just 17 years. So if he will stay at this here in Malashitsa, he will just be phenomenal in just a couple of years. Um, I've been seeing him play in the senior league, I believe, for two years already. So since he's been 15 uh, he has a way of dealing with it, you know, take a deep breath as he just did and uh, get set up for the next attack. But now Malashica can try to get another one on the board. Not quite. Do they still have it? No. Yeah, Kressel didn't like that. I mean, the ball was up high, so swinging at it, it does result in some contact occasionally. For Manek. Is Hayek ready? for Knotek, Prochaska, Knotek again, Friedel, Formanek, no, still Friedel, Knotek, Formanek, and Pech behind. Hayek did anticipate him coming from the other side, yet managed to save that, and the clock is out. Knotek and Friedel didn't quite connect on that possession there. And the sun is back out, so again, if you are in Prague, do come see us. It's going to be a wonderful day full of lacrosse. And there we go, Podrožek with a wonderful goal. Three for Malešice that must feel good to get back on the board here after a long wait. But Podrožek is a magician with his stick and can bury the ball there on the maybe even a little bit too relaxed goalie on the LCC end as he hasn't seen many shots in this quarter yet. But Malashitsa is trying to change that. Nicholas Adamiec going at it alone. Can he do it? He'll try. And there it is! Two in a row, ladies and gentlemen, for Malashitsa now. This is a different ball game. LCC will not like this and will try to stop that for sure. Fourth goal for Malashitsa. That was two goals for Malashitsa within what felt like five to ten seconds. If they can make it a third time, I then I'm gonna buy them beers, I guess. Uh, all right, let's see what they can do, or if LCC says, well, you know, that's about enough. Definitely a push on the back. Uh, they're not giving it to them lightly. Malashitsa is still holding on. To the ball. You can see a way more contact here now as LCC does not like to get scored. Well, I mean, no team likes to get scored on, but two in a row like that, LCC is not. A oh, man. All right. This will be expensive for me. Ladies and gentlemen, a third goal in a row within less than a minute.
for Malešice. So five goals now. I mean, LCC still has a very comfortable lead of eight goals, but hey, three goals in a row like that. You can see the Malešice's shoulders are much higher than they were just a couple of minutes ago. Now Peck with the ball, Malešice fighting really hard for it. They want it back, want to push him over back there, getting their defense uh, set up. It is amazing how body language changes with just a single goal and yet alone three. Hayek ready, yeah. Not quite connecting on the ground ball. Pech, Prochaska, Formanek, Friedel. Hodan can't quite connect with it and Hayek has it. Wow, now this game just picked up pace like from zero to a hundred I would say well we weren't at zero but it definitely picked up pace with those three goals by Malish it's a long long wait for them to score and now three in a row oh ooh, that, that oof, yeah I would think I didn't see what happened there there was a lot of bodies a lot of sticks for sure but our official Vasek Frank was right there just checking in on the player. I don't see a hand up for a penalty, so clean there. And LCC with the ball. They will want to stop that momentum for Malashitsa for sure. And Malashitsa will try everything they possibly can to keep that momentum going. Our Polish friends are smiling and warming up here on the sideline. Malashica with the ball. Knotek not letting them clear it lightly. Oh, perfect placement for Kuchera, who was ready for it. His brother wasn't quite expecting that pass, though. So we're back to Malashica. And this game is spicy now. Two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. We just saw three goals by Malashitsa. So if you just joined us or took a break, do go back and rewatch the last three minutes. It is definitely worth it. Malashitsa, nah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> Ladja very unhappy with that pass. He's like, dude, look where you're passing. That's basically what his body language was telling me here. Prochaska, Kuchera, tries it behind the back. Not quite what he was aiming for. LCC has not stopped the Malashitsa momentum yet. I mean, Malashitsa hasn't scored another one, but, you know, still. Let's see what the guys in yellow can do. LCC putting on significant pressure here. And Adam Yetz, oh! That was close. <laughs> I think the LC goalie is counting his blessings on that one. Malashitsa with almost a full clock. He'll try it again. Yeah, that, that one before that was better. All right, LCC now in the counterattack. It's been a couple of minutes since that triple by Malashitsa. And they're fighting hard for it. And Adam Yetz has it, strips the ball of LCC. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a ball game. Usually third quarters get a little bit messy, but this third quarter has everything one wants. It has the speed and the pressure. Awesome. All right, well, that didn't quite work there for Malashitsa. Vodolan on the ball. Laja by himself with Hayek. And that ball went my way. But I'm good at ducking. All right, here we go. LC with the ball. Kuchera. Prochaska. Another Kuchera. Kridlo back to Prochaska. They're so good at just passing at a weird pattern that, you know, doesn't have the exact shape of what you think it will have. 
So Malashitsa now, watch out for those 10 seconds. We have 20 seconds left in this quarter, and what a quarter it has been so far. Can Malashitsa put in one more before the break? That would be, I think, crazy, but you never know. And apparently I owe them beers. So, Schruta. Yeah. Uh, and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. What a third quarter. I will need a water or a drink. And you guys go grab something and let's see what happens in this fourth quarter of today's opening game. Malashitsa home taking on Elsie Radotin as the hosting team here. And we have five for Malashitsa, 13 for LCC. Don't let that score fool you. We just saw three in a row for Malashitsa. And the last five minutes have been, oh boy, very exciting. LC is definitely trying to sort themselves out and stop that momentum going for Malashitsa. I will take a short break and I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, lacrosse fans around the world, welcome MBLL 2024. We're in the fourth quarter of a Malashitsa LC Radotin matchup. We see a change at face, uh, LC sending Vimola now. And we've seen a pickup in pace on the Malashitsa side just towards the last five minutes of that last quarter we just saw. It was an all Podrožek Adamiec show there with three in a row. And LC looking at stopping that momentum here right now. Knotek trying his usual. This time it did not work. I think Hayek might have figured out. And is there another one? Oh my god, that's four in a row for Malashitze. Another one by Adamietz all by himself. Wow. Very exciting here. If your friends have taken a break from us, do get them back. Because this is some ball game here, Vaudelan. I would argue the best box lacrosse you get to see at this moment. For Manek to Knotek, trying something new. Does Hayek have it? Yes, he does. Wow. I think Knotek himself is surprised that none of his uh, tricks uh, that he tried in the last couple of minutes has worked. He is used to them working effortlessly. But Kuchera with, I believe, his fourth or fifth interception this game. He's been very spot on on those. Very fast to be in position. Tilsher, Prochaska, Knotek, Knotek trying it again. This time from the outside. Prochaska not letting that ground ball be picked up lightly, but we have LCC has the ball back. Oh. 
Prochaska. Haig has his hands full. This has this <coughs> particular possession has seen three, four shots already. Vimola. Yeah. You can tell that the Malashitsa defense has woken up this morning. It took him a little bit, but and is that in? All right. Well, there's a momentum stop by Prochaska after four in a row by Malashitsa. Prochaska puts a stop to this and scores another one, making it six Malashitsa, 14 for LC Radotin. What a turn of events. I mean, obviously, four in a row for LC Radotin is not as a big of a surprise. But after that big lead to give Malashitsa a run of four in a row is a little bit surprising. And makes this a very exciting game. So LC found a way to beat Hayek's newly won confidence. Prochaska still with the ball. Podrožek trying hard. Hagan. Podrožek. Podrožek's got it. Keeping up the speed that they picked up late in the third. Setting it up high. Probably trying to distract the LC defense here. Rotating through. And again. Uh, not quite. Probably would have taken two more quick passes, but they have it back. Can they organize themselves quick enough? Setting it up. LC defense hasn't left yet on that last change of possession. Adam yet. Ooh, there was Schruta more than anybody. Oh, nice try by Podrožek. Didn't quite work. Kuchera all by himself on the other side. What a clear there by Prochask. No, Knotek, sorry. Clear by Knotek to straight to Kuchera, who was by himself. Hayek had very little chance on that one. Those one on one matchups with the goalies are really tough. So, yeah, it's a Prochaska Knotek Kuchera show on the LC side. Uh, a little bit of Friedel as well. But so far, we've seen plenty of goals from that trio. Vodolan, Formanek. Friedel, looking for Prohaska. Formanek, Prohaska, Kuchera. And Malashitsa now back. Less than 11 minutes left in this game. And afterwards, do stay with us. We will see, ooh. Well, first we will see a Malashitsa goal. And you can hear the Malashitsa fans in the background appreciating this uh, turn of events and a much more exciting matchup than we seen earlier in this game. That was Yendra Placiti from Malashitsa. Making it 7-15. Definitely a respectable score here in this matchup. Kressel with his fast feet. Can he do it? Not quite. Adam Yetz. Which is amazing. You know, Malashitsa have a bunch of 40-year-olds on their team and a bunch of teenagers as well. So there's a big age span. And it's great to see how they can play together in this uh, obviously an experience for the dads to be able to play with their sons very generational game here in the czech republic in particular malashitsa yeah not quite oh <laughs> cute try but malashitsa will definitely get the ball back you can see the polish fans cheering on the underdog i can relate uh, i never have a team preference i am just a definitely underdog preference when i cheer on somebody 
here we go. Not quite. Vimola can knock it off. And he will try to go at it. He has Tilshire, but he will try himself. No, not quite. Can Tilshire pick it up? Maleshica mm, has it back, but can it connect? Yes! Podrožek. But he's all by himself. Triple team, quadruple team. Oh! That is unfortunate. He fought so hard for it. Could not quite connect that, I guess, try of a pass to his teammate uh, Jan Adamiet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think Jotek is surprised himself that that actually went in and so is high. That kind of just trickled in. Does that make a hat trick for Knotek? Potentially, let me double check. If you want to know more stats and the exact scores, do head to point bench pointbench.com and you can see all the results, all the stats. So Knotek has one, two, three. Yeah, that was a hat trick for Knotek right there. So as I said, it's a uh, Kutura times two Knotek and Podro uh, Prochaska show on the LCC side and definitely Podrožek Adamiec on the yellow end of this floor. But now back to LCC, 16-7 right now, and it makes it 17-7 by a goal by Friedel, who's been a little bit in the shadow of the other guys I just mentioned, uh, not generally, just today. But this is his second goal. He scored early in the first quarter and then took a break, I guess, from scoring, not from playing. And this is his second goal. Third goal, sorry. He did have a power play goal also. All right, and we are back. Oh, unlucky. But Adamit Sr can get it, looks for his teammate, not quite, Hodan is right there, a super experienced defenseman. They still have it. Who else does he have here? They have 12 seconds left on this shot clock. Podrožek looking for somebody, anybody, preferably the back of the goal, not quite. Shruta was right there protecting Halet's goal. And Pech. He's been very, very present today. One of the youngest uh, members of the LC team. I also believe something around 16 years old. A nice shot, two shots in a row, but nobody there to take it. Malish, it's a set up in defense already. Knotek, beautiful behind the back pass to Pech. And Pech this time successful with a goal for himself. As I mentioned, very present today in this game and good for him. So finally one on the board for him. He had a bunch of tries earlier. Oh, big battle there for that ground ball. Lots of bodies, lots of sticks and that ball went into the bench off a red stick so yellow will get it Malashice gets a shot to at least lower the difference here on the board yeah oh that's too bad way too close to the crease already just kind of stumbled in before he could turn to shoot so now we're back with Red, Kressel, Friedel, Friedel looking for Prochaska, Knotek, and Knotek just kind of tries, gives it a shot. Kressel won't make this an easy outlet pass. Yeah, utilizes the fact that Hayek left his goal. Mm. Ladja not happy. I'm not sure if with his own positioning or the pass. Maybe both. Pech. Couldn't quite connect with Kuchera. 
Prochaska has it. And Peck from behind the net. It's in. Question is, was he in the crease before or after? Our officials will discuss. You will get a replay, I'm guessing. Goal is good. That's unlucky for Hayek, but a beautiful action by Pech from behind the net. And the ball went in. I'm sure you can see it on the replay right now. Making the lead of LCC by 12, which is when we go to running clock. Nevertheless, this matchup, you know, has not been what the score would suggest. It's definitely more even than the score shows, especially in this third and fourth quarter. Malashitsa has given LCC a run for their money, just can't quite connect with the goal as their opponents do. Hayek has been on fire, but yeah, one of the some of those one-on-one -on -one actions are just so hard to defend when you're by yourself. Malash, it's a losing concentration a little bit now, but they still have five and a half minutes to fight here. Let's see if they can give Halet a little bit more work to do. Beautiful jump there by our official Vasek Frank, avoiding contact with the ball. Almost a matrix move. Shout out to Vasek. Shruta back with the ball. Oh, I need to make sure I don't wander off the roof here. Getting excited and closer to the play. We have Pech. Now with two goals, two in a row for the youngster. For Manek. And you saw that rebound by Knotek. Just amazing what they can do with those fast rebounds off the boards. I'm always fascinated. You can tell that these guys just have been working at it and practicing rebounds and working with the boards here for most of their life. You can also see some kids in the background with their sticks. That's what we want to see. The earlier the start, the better, including my little one in the back there. And another one try by Maleshitze. Definitely not letting the goalie he'll rest. And there it is. And it is in. Another one for Maleshitze. 8-19 now. That was a good one. The first one didn't quite make it through, but they didn't wait long and definitely made sure to start another try before they lose the possession again. And it did, did pay off. So good job there. Let's see if the Pech Knotek duo can <laughs> repeat a third in a row there for LCC or if Malashitsa will put one on top. Shruta. Well, Hayek is on top of that one. Adam yet? Oh! Oh! Unlucky. I mean, I've heard that sound at least five times this game already. Mostly on the Malashitsa side, I have to say, so a little bit unlucky. Uh, the last goal was by Pavel Paseka. Sorry about that. Didn't have the name from the top of my head. Hayek with an easy save there. That was not much to do for him. Pech is really, <laughs> you can tell how his head is uh, probably 20 centimeters higher after those two goals. And he's been playing fabulously all game. Probably my MVP, even though there's more people with more goals, but he's just been so present today. That is really wonderful to see, especially when you're on a team with a bunch of much senior players, you know, like Profeska and Knotek, who have scored more goals. But Pech was definitely a very present figure on this floor today. So we see a timeout. We have three minutes left in this game. And the next matchup, we'll see our Slavic brothers from Poland and Bratislava, my hometown. Returning to the league, they took a, a literal baby break last season as many of their partners had babies and they wanted to be there for the little ones. 
and they're returning to the league this season. Obviously, many national team players on that team as well, prepping for Utica later this year. We will see that world championship in September. Very excited about it. Hopefully, can be a part of it. Mm. That's unlucky. Contact there, but Podrožek is fighting for it. Holy cow, he's not letting Holub have it easy. And he can strip the ball, but Tilsher was there and ready for it. Do I see an arm up? I do not. All right. So probably nothing there. Friedel. I mean, you would think with this goal spread that they would relax with two and a half minutes left in the game, but absolutely not. Nobody's relaxing here. This They want to play. They came out here this morning to play some nice box lacrosse. And, oh, man, they're doing it. Knotek can connect. Ooh. Okay. That that looked high, but obviously I have a bird's eye view here from the roof, so maybe it always just looks strong because it's Kressel and everything he does looks strong. Okay, Adamiec. It's been the Adamiec Podrožek show here on the Malashitsa side. Can they do another one? Oh oh another post! Man, I think Adam and his brothers amongst themselves had like six posts already. Wow. If they can make those posts work for them, you know, there will be way more goals scored by Yellow in the near future. So we'll see what they do in practice and if they can make, <laughs> make it work for them better. Okay, Podrožek. Looking at eff effortlessly. Not so easy for the goalie, but he saved it. Holup, bring the ball up. One minute left in this matchup. Yeah, LCC is not as relaxed as they thought they would walk through the second half here, especially after that run in third. Nice. Hayek ready, definitely warmed up by now. He's seen I would say probably close to 60 shots by now. Ah! One on one, Halet and Adamietz. Adamietz can't quite make that work for him, and good job, Halet. Doesn't get rattled by one on one matchups either. Prohaska. I mean, we saw about 38 shots on Malashitsa in the first three quarters alone, so we might be close to, yeah, at least 50, yeah. is my guess. The safe percentage <laughs> has definitely gotten a little worse for Halet in that third quarter, from 92 down to 80. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Eight Malashitsa, 19 LCC. What a wonderful game if you... <laughs> One, my recommendation, do go back to the last five minutes of that third quarter. What a show by Malashitsa who picked up the pace and gave LC Radotin a run for their money. They do come out victorious, but definitely not as relaxed as they might have thought they would. So congratulations to these two teams. A wonderful start to our lacrosse weekend here. Sunny weather in Malashitsa from the rooftops of Prague. My name is Barbara, and I will be here with you for the last game today as well. Uh, and I'll go down to the floor and join the guys there for this next matchup. Vratislav, Bratislava, just join us there. Thank you, and hear you soon.